I wanted to sort of open the panel with the very basic question I want to hear from everybody is what are the main challenges in your view um, for the lack of implementation of the existing promises of accessibility under the Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act? Uh, would you like to start, yeah. Mr. Pasura? First of all, uh, thank you and congratulations uh, to Vidhi. And it's a very, you know, rarely uh, this kind of work happens. And I thank so much for, you know, the Parekh Foundation, because first of all, uh, any, this kind of a work is very rarely looked at it. Very rarely looked at it. I think uh, you as an end team, so congratulations to all of you for joining this. And, and always, always, Inktas have a different view. And I think something like this is certainly uh, very little work that has happened in if you look around. See, because voluntary organizations have their own set of challenges. So they have a project, they have a program, they have to implement, they have to give a report. They have very little time to invest on the larger issues like this. And then even if they're interested, even if they want to do something, so there are so many barriers, they will not get them access to, uh, you know, the key people who make decisions. So they have to work at the very bottom level and write loads and loads of letters. We don't know where the letter goes and, you know, stands. I'm sure uh, somebody herself will tell me, you know, how challenge in a being also in a position, how to make things happen. So having said that, the fact that things are, it's not that it's not at all moving, it's moving, at moving the face is so challenging. It's so disgusting. And if she has money, if she has even pushing, uh, the knowledge and the skill and the competency is so poor. If you go and talk to architects today, and I know everything, I will do it. But when it comes to, you know, real execution, real work, you would have said some young, uh, you know, person, and whatever with little experience you would put down, that becomes implementation. Ultimately, your job is not done. So our budgets have been not been put in a line item. So that the end of the guy that we're going to build this, you look at, do I have a budget? So do I able to make some money? When that is not being created, these things will happen. It will happen both with the private bodies. It will happen with the corporates. It will happen with the government also. I think there is a conscious effort that we all need to make. Uh, as part of our work, when we are doing it, any disability work, can it become part of our work also to look at accessibility as a whole? And I think the vision for all of us should be, uh, if I want people with disability part of the mainstream and sustainable, then I need to put at least 25, 30% of work on the larger system change. Instead of implementation, I need to spend more time and energy on bringing systemic change. I think that is a shift that we need to bring. I think we need to also look at it. The biggest challenge I find is whenever we invest uh, time or energy, we don't give hope and future for the parents. Because ultimately, they are the one who most you know, connected to this work. And as a therapist, I'll only talk about therapy. As an educationist, I only talk about therapy. I don't look at this. Now, what is the future 20 years down the line? What is in a kind of a life he's going to have. I don't even give that, you know, kind of bigger picture. I think that shift has to come. Then my whole attitude when I'm talking to, you know, policymakers, when I'm talking to the public and media, I will speak some completely differently. I think we, as a country, as a society, have to bring that shift. I think those are the challenges. It's not that, you know, everybody wants to do it. Everybody is well-meaning. But when it comes, I will do a baby step. I think that baby step to how do I take, you know, long-term view, how do I change the perspective? And I think we need to engage more and more. I think, I mean, having worked with the government, you know, I'm sure uh, it's not going to change, you know, however we talk, we have to engage, we have to, you know, put some energy and time and most importantly, bring parent groups more actively. I think then only things can change. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Basavaraju for that.